Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy and this is my first ever YouTube video. Yeah. Alright, so that's my first YouTube video. I'd like to first of all wish you guys a happy new year. It is 2015. Yeah, what? 2015 already? I know, weird. But since it's my first video, I decided let's talk about last year, 2014. With 2014, there came a lot of new things for me, and I thought, why not get to know me on YouTube by knowing about my last year, and then you can learn about my this year as it comes. Yeah. So, last year, I got into makeup. Now, those of you who know me might be like, <laughs> whoa, Kathy, like, what? Like, you? And I'm, yeah, me. You might be like, why? Well, I started watching YouTube. Yeah, yeah, this thing. This thing. Yeah. thing that you're watching right now, I started watching that with my eyeballs. I started watching some people, some tutorials, and I'm like, whoa, maybe I could do this. And, well, I did. See? I did. So, we're going to do a wrap up of my favorite products that I have found and let's get started. First of all starting out with the eyeshadows and for someone who didn't know anything about makeup could not use a brush worth anything these things were awesome. These are the Maybelline color tattoos and all you have to do is unscrew the pot dip your finger in and be like boop, 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 boom. done. Well with a little bit more of not just like dots that look weird. So this is my collection. It is consisted of Bad to the Bronze, Tough, that's not, that, that one's tough as taupe, and Barely Branded. The next thing is I wanted a new palette. So I had already had kind of some browns and I thought maybe a teensy bit of color might work. So that's whenever I found this. i be being like, what? It's the L'Oreal La Palette Nude. And it's amazing. So in this palette, there are a bunch of pinks and purples. So very nude, but with a little subtle kick of pow. Yeah, I made that subtle on purpose. I love all these. You can just kind of mix them a little bit. You can add a little bit more towards your lashes to just make a little bit of a smokier factor. Me using words I don't know how to use. Yeah. The next thing is blusher. So, blusher is just that little rosy part of your cheeks, and I found two that I love. First one is Tarte Captivating. It's an Amazonian clay. It's this really pretty, just springy pink, and it's just like, whew, look at me. I'm having fun, going through filled flowers, running, not really running, skipping, and singing. And then the second one is Sleek, and it is Rose Gold. I'm thinking like, guys, roses aren't gold. But this is a really pretty shimmery shade, and it just adds that little bit of pow to your cheekbones without being like, bam, unless you want to be bam, and you're like, brush, 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 then it's a bam. But don't do that. You'll look like a clown, unless you want to look like a clown. All right, and lastly for the more makeup-y things is lips. Now, my first ever one was this. This is the Revlon Color Burst in Honey. And this sucker is just awesome. These are crayons, so you don't really have to have the intimidation factor of a lipstick, but it looks kind of cool. I recently got it in Sultry. Ooh, this color. It's like, yeah, it's good. And they, they're just so easy. It's like, you want to look cool, but you're a little scared about lipstick because you think that's all the old people use. So do, you're just like, but I don't want to use lip gloss because that's all the babies use. Don't wear lip gloss if you're a baby. You're not supposed to wear that. I suggest crayons. All brands have them. I love Revlon. These things are awesome. I think I have four different colors and I have some in other brands and they're the best. Nail polish. Now, I didn't used to be a nail polish person, just like I didn't used to be a makeup person, but it works out. 
So I have had a couple go-to colors. My first one is Monero Cool. And why? It's just this cool little nude purple that goes with about any outfit. Take it outside. Preferably not whenever it's really cold because then you'd be really cold. This is the gray. My people might be thinking, Kathy, why do you want gray nails? I don't know, it's cool. Then as a little pa-pow factor, I got this one, Splash of Grenadine. All these are Essie nail polishes, and why? I don't know, I just like them. They're pretty. If I keep them all the same bottle, they look the same, and I'm a little OCD, so it's like, oh, the same bottle in different colors. Cool. I love Soap and Glory. It's just how it is. I just gets me right here. I narrowed it down to one product. One product that goes like above and all for me. And that is the smoothie breakfast scrub. You guys are like, smoothie breakfast scrub? Smoothie breakfast scrub? What? In it, it has little micro beads as well as bananas, almonds, and honey extracts. That's a smoothie bed. The part that's the favorite part of mine, it smells like maple syrup. Right? It just, it smells like maple syrup on a bed of oatmeal that has bananas and honey in it. And almonds, I love almonds. Almonds are best. I just, I can't get enough of it. It's, it's the best. You need this. We are going out of the makeup skincare world. That's right. We are going. And into my favorite jewelry. I've grown to be a little bit of a jewelry freak. Not really because I only have not very much. But I love what I have. So my first favorite that I could say is these certain Kate Spade earrings. Now, I've actually only bought one of these surprisingly enough. And two of these I got for Christmas. But since I love the first one so much, I know I'm going to love them. They are these guys. They are just plain and brilliant. This one right here, this brown pair, they're just iridescent to where it kind of like blends. Like you could look kind of brown, blue, or green depending on your outfit. They're like mystery. These are my original pair. I love them. And then of course you had to get clear and green. Emerald is my birth month, so that's a good gift. Thank you. My second favorite is J. Crew Factory. Like, it's amazing. These are my favorite. These little gold balls. I wear them about four out of seven days a week because they're that good. And then, of course, about half of J. Crew Factory necklaces. The other half were just a little too far out there for me, but they're just amazing. They are, to me, nickel free. I'm allergic to nickel and I've never had a problem with them or the Kate Spade earrings. So if you have that issue, Jaker Factory is a nice place and it's a whole, whole, whole lot cheaper than J. Crew. But sometimes it's actually better. Ooh, I see snowflakes. I see snowflakes. <laughs> Welcome to January, everyone. My favorite place this year is London. I spent three months studying abroad from September through December, came back right before the holidays, in a town about 45 minutes west of London. So thus, I could take a train whenever I wanted into the city, and it, it stole my heart. I love it. I want to go back. I want to live there. It's just, it's nice. It's a big city, but there's so much to do, and it's so clean, and it doesn't smell like a city. I love it. I just, I love it. That is why you also saw a mix of British products. It was just an amazing trip. Go there if you haven't, and yeah, go there. Food. I love food. I assume you love food. I mean, food's kind of like delicious. So, I have a few favorites. Number one, avocados. Like, how didn't I know about these things before? If you mash them up, this is my mashing technique, er, then add a little salt and pepper to it, put on toast, put an egg on top, delicious. Secondly, grapefruit. What? Avocados, grapefruit, breakfast. I'm, I'm good. It's the best thing ever. Some of the things I learned from England though that are now my favorites, sweet chili. I had sweet chili chips while I was there. Why can't I get them here? Why? They are so good. So good. 
as well as I just bought some sweet chili sauce I can make some stir fry. I'm really excited. <laughs> I also love elderflower. Elderflower juices. We don't have this flavor here. I had to buy it at World Market. I'm in love. I am in love. One thing I do have with me, Cadbury buttons. These things are good. They are, mine are a little rough because I took an airplane back home. But I'm gonna get one of these suckers. They are just these little buttons. And I just go, huh? Mmm. It is melt in your mouth. Mm. The fourth thing I learned is my absolute and all time favorite. I brought back three packages custard creams. These little biscuits, they say custard cream. And they have like a little bit of like a, a lemony filling in it and amazing. If you know a recipe, send it my way because I know I'm gonna live without these whenever I'm done with my three packages. I'm really trying to, oh, I only have it until August 15th. Lastly is my favorite people of this year. Now I've narrowed it down to a family and this family I feel a little creepy because I love them that much. It is Estee Aslan and Reggie from C Button and the Worktop and Reggie because Reggie is awesome. So Estee is a beauty blogger and YouTuber and Aslan is her amazing boyfriend who can cook like nobody's biz. Estee came from Canada to England to be with Aslan. So romantic. I love them. I love their family. I love Reggie. Reggie's their greyhound. Just, if you aren't interested in them, watch it for Reggie. I will have their links down below because if you don't know about them, you need to know about them. With this, this is the end of my first ever YouTube video and the end of 2014. So if you'd like to learn more about me in 2015, follow me. You can subscribe down below. There's a little subscription button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any suggestions of other videos for me to do, make sure to write a comment down below. And I will see you next time. Bye!